we have this family tree over here uh, where we have multiple generations and for some of them we have the full information about genotype and phenotype and others we have gaps and or a complete gap over here and our task is to figure out uh, the missing parts. So uh, to start with I would start with the generation where we know everything about it. So we have uh, one uh, parent that has yellow seeds as phenotype and the genotype has encoded yellow twice and then we have here uh, green seeds and uh, as the phenotype and we also know that uh, the genes have twice uh, the green uh, seeds encoded. And then if you look at their, uh, their uh, children uh, you see both of their children have yellow seeds. Now given that we know that uh, the genotype of the children is made from one of the alleles of each uh, parent, we know the only possibilities here is yellow and green. So one are from let's say the father and one from the mother. So we have uh, overall type here that's definitely a green one from one of the parents and the yellow one of the other one and here the same. There's no other possible combination uh, that can happen. Now we see however that uh, both of them have the phenotype that it's yellow which tells us that the yellow uh, allele is the dominant one over the green one. Uh, we could have seen this also from convention that this one was written in capital letters but it's safer to go from what we're actually observing so we're absolutely sure now the yellow one is the dominant one. Now let's go one up. Uh, here this one came from outside uh, so here this one was the child of those two both of them have yellow seeds. The fact that they have yellow seed tells us that they must have uh, at least one uh, gene for yellow. So each of them has one yellow. And now if you look, the child was green. So this is only possible if each parent uh, had a green uh, allele of that gene. So this must have been the parents. And there was one possible combination where uh, the one green from here got together with the one green from here and then we have two uh, recessive uh, green alleles so that the uh, phenotype actually uh, shows and becomes green. If you look at it, uh, the one up here is the same as the one down here. So what we're going to do in the last generation here, we're going to actually try to figure out all possible combinations. To do that, we use the uh, so-called Punnett square. It's called square because we're supposed to make a square. Ooh, a bit complicated here to draw. And then on one side, you write the genotype of one of the parents. So here green and here yellow. And on the other side, you write the phenotype, uh, the genotype of uh, the other parent and now we do the combination. So there's one combination green green, one green yellow and then here we could have a yellow getting together with the yellow and we could have a yellow with the green. So these two are kind of the same thing just uh, reversed order. So here what are the possibilities? So for the genotype we could have in the end green green so that child would have green seeds. Then the other possibility would have been that we have green and yellow. In this case the yellow is dominant so they would appear to be yellow. And then we have the last one yellow, yellow where of course also it would appear to be yellow. So we have three possibilities. Now if you look at the genotype, uh, what is the probability to have green-green? If I go up here, 
uh, that is one out of four. So that genia type here has a 50, uh, sorry, 25% chance of happening. Percent happening. So we know actually the one that happened here, that was actually a very lucky draw that only happens one in every four. Now green, yellow, both of them, we have it twice. So this one is happening in 50% of the cases. And then yellow, yellow is happening in 25% of the cases. And now interestingly, uh, overall, if we just look at the phenotype, the phenotype yellow will appear in 75% of all cases, while the one of the recessive one in this case will only appear in 25% uh, of the cases. So this is a very simplified example how we can use combinations and the Punnett square to figure out uh, the family tree uh, of some inheritance of some recessive and dominant traits.